Right now, I don't think Thunder is going to make it. This is Sassy's baby. He is completely not eating. He's kind of walking around. He's missing big patches of fur. He's not stable on his feet. He's not acting with purpose. Look at him. He's just wasting away. I think he's in the early stages of rabies. He's not well at all. And if I had a firearm, I would actually put him out of his misery. Uh, I'm probably going to buy some benzodiazepines off the street. Four milligrams of Xanax and he won't be in any pain. But here's the thing. I can't get him to eat. That's the whole problem. I never could get him to eat a peanut butter burrito with meds in it. I tried to can dog food. So I couldn't even medicate him to put him out of his misery to euthanize him. He does not deserve this ba These babies are dying horrible, slow, painful deaths. Their mamas don't understand what's going on. And this is basically what he does. He stays in dens. I'm glad I've got a place where he can feel safe. But this is what he does. He goes in and plays in that den all night or up underneath the plastic. And probably the only reason why he's doing that now is because it's nice and cool. Hi, Thunder Baby. You poor sweet thing. I'm trying to help you, boo. All I can do is film it and let everybody see what a grimy-ass piece of shit our health department veterinarian is. We could have got you vaccinated just like your mommy, but then they couldn't do their rabies study so they could weaponize a zoonotic disease like they did COVID and SARS-CoV-2, which has just been proven. A uh, doctor testified in front of a European Council that uh, it was all deliberate. They'd been planning COVID-19 scamdemic for decades, getting all the stuff in place so they could maximize their profits. God knows what they're doing with rabies. Remember that COVID-19 came from a study. University of Vermont's doing a study of rabies. That's why they're not doing the bait drops and getting these animals vaccinated with all of the resources that the federal government gave them to do it. And most of the health officials are also big pharma or big health care admin. It's called predatory health care for a reason. I mean, Epstein took his child molestation victims, child sex trafficking rape victims, to doctors who did not get child protective services and special victims units involved. They falsified their records, doped the child victims and called